Welcome back, class. I'm Matt, your guide here on Y Caliber. We're playing Star Wars The Old Republic, and this is the Inquisitor. It's time to speak to Sergeant Lauren here on Hoth and see what they would have of us. Hello, Lauren. I'm looking for a ship called the Star Runner. My lord, truly an honor and a surprise. That I'm, I'm searching for no that? ships have landed on Hoth in ages, unless it's a crash. Actually, the name Star Runner sounds familiar. Really? If I may ask, what do you need the ship for? You're here on Darth Thanoson's behalf, naturally. That's not yours to know. Of course, my lord. It was rude of me to ask. It was. Star Runner. Blast. Your ship crashed years ago. It's buried under a few tons of snow by now. That's fine. Best Coordinates. Bet? No. Give me a few months to get a recovery team on it. Hmm... A Sith does what a Sith wants. Well, I mean, there's an Imperial Reclamation Service team you could take command of, if you wanted. It's just, the lieutenant in charge is a little odd. Too much time digging in tombs, you understand. I only care that he can find the ship. Lieutenant Talos Drellick could find a piece of glass in the Tatooine Desert, but he's very particular about his work. So am I. I'm afraid I can't call Lieutenant Drellick. The weather on Hoth is bad for communications. Where is he? The team's way out in the way searching for some mythical Sith temple on Hoth of all places. Good luck, my lord. Thanks, Sergeant. Well, let's go find this guy, this Talos Drelic. And hopefully he'll have what we're looking for. Have I gotten rid of all my See junk? Anything you like? Yep. Just let me know. Okay, I will. What's our mail? Is it spam? It's spam. Awful lot of spam lately. More than usual. Probably because of the new update. Alrighty. Ah, uh, all for nothing. At least it's coming down now. I know I mounted, but I want this mount. Thank you. Take me up, Scotty. Can you go faster? I already chuckled at this over on the other channel. But we can have a chuckle again. <laughs> no. No, you're... Come on. You're kidding me. Well... I guess I'll call that a win. Do you require medical attention? Well, as long as I don't have to repair you anything. Will. I guess we've survived that trial. Ridiculous. So... That's a no on using the speeder to get out here. I'm just gonna take a minute. Take it easy. Off we go. Let's have another round tonight. Windshaft Ridge. Yes, we've been here many a time before. Let's just try and get this planet over with as quickly and painlessly as possible. Just kidding. That's not going to happen on Hoth. It'll always be long and painful, like a prison sentence in some unpleasant locale. Like the USA. Now, is there going to be something leading us out here? I certainly hope so, before we run into some of these level 38s that we're not quite on par with. Or with which we are not quite on par. Good thing those cats can't catch up to me while I'm on my sweet speeder. Even if my leg is apparently bleeding purple. Just gonna keep going straight, I guess. Alright, 
Looks like this is where we want to be. All we have to do is survive this fall. We've survived worse. Hey guys, how's tricks? You having a good time? We're all having a good time. got that song stuck in my head now. Take it easy. I'll try and take it easy, but you know how difficult it is when you've got an earworm, Ashara. Surely you've had an earworm before. Or are your people immune to that because you hear through cones on your head instead? That'd be an interesting, you know, question. What field of science would that fit under? Orology? Is that even a science? Probably isn't. Most ology things are pseudosciences, like astrology, numerology, pancakeology. We're close, boys. We'll find that temple. I can feel it. Rogers, no cutting corners. Don't forget the salt. Salt's not the best solution, but it's the only thing that doesn't freeze out here, and solid footing is a must. I thought I was crazy. Oh, my lord, you can never be too cautious. The dead dislike having their graves rifled, even for posterity. I should imagine. I heard you single-handedly unearthed artifacts of the great Tulak Horde. I'm a Naga Sadar man myself, but I'd love to compare notes. Well, okay. What do you do to Hoff? And how may I be of service? I much prefer Stalin, but, you know, we can compare notes about Mao. I'm taking over this team in order to locate a ship called the Star Runner. Hmm. A ship. Not usually our line, but let's hear it. Maybe we can help. There's no maybe about it. Hmm. You're going to help. A bit new for the reclamation service, but artifacts. And a ghost. Yeah. I've heard that the dead talk down in the tombs, but to see one, oh, I wonder if it'd be possible to make a hollow image. I imagine it would depend on the light. Yes, darker would be better. I'm pretty dark, Engine buddy. Sorrel, do we have any probes that aren't frozen solid? Shalora works as good as any in these conditions, sir. She may not look like much, but she's got heart. This is a machine, right? Is correct, the captain would have launched a distress beacon before the crash, which would give us a line on the ship. Not a bad idea. Beware, my lord. The cold's master out here. My boys and I are going to shift camp. Try to get a better communication setup going. But let us know if you find anything. You're not gonna help me? Alright, bearings. Come on. Don't mind us, cat. Are you are you kidding me? You told me to come here. This is exactly locked onto signal and found bearing. Okay. So you have to go directly to the middle. All the way to the middle of the circle. Nowhere else will do. And I imagine we'll be surrounded by these sneaky ice cats the whole time. Sneaky, sneaky. Now, we're just going straight out onto this frozen area that's full of towels, if I remember. Yeah. Pretty badass towels. But I suppose if we have to go directly into the middle, then that's where we have to go. Come on. It's going to be too weak.
Things had better be close enough. Off it goes. One more point of the triangle. Because that's how triangulation works. By making a triangle. Okay. Are you sure you'll be all right? All right, let's go get that distress beacon. This is at least the second mission we've had in the Inquisitor story, where you wander around the middle of nowhere and click on things. Not great, guys. Not great. This is Captain Quillen of the Star Runner. SOS. I repeat, SOS. Darling, can you hear me? SOS. Strange events date back two weeks. Yavin 4 artifacts believed to be the source. Something has taken control of the ship. When you go, finds this message. How can Burn this vessel. I even try Don't look to inside. Go Don't on. touch it. Burn it. Lieutenant Drellick really is something else. Could find a wampa here in a snowdrift, I bet. Hmm. It still doesn't tell me where the ship is. No, but we have a bearing from the beacon launch. And those tracks. Somebody beat us to this thing. Uh-oh. Lieutenant, sir. We found the beacon, but no ship. There's some light tracks, though. They appear to be a few days old. You're a few Absolute days old. Zoom in, sir. I've been studying alien tracks since I was old enough to know a Twi'lek from a Takata. Um, Ortolan. I'd know them if they were six days old and covered in jam. Those are Autolan tracks. I'll be sure to look for you next time my ship's galley is invaded by a pack of Autolans. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to remember that next time the Imperial Reclamation Service Trackers Committee meets. I like this guy. Looks like those Autolans dug something up. Possibly a clue to the ship's location. Sorrel, where's the nearest Autolan camp? It's a ways beyond the next outpost. But the tracks look headed in the right direction. Okay. Well, it might be time to put on your best diplomatic face, my lord. No. Autolans don't like outsiders much, but it looks like they're the key to finding our ghost. A little lightning will break them. It always does. Well, it sounds a little gruesome, but who am I to question a master's methods? Nobody. I'll have Sorrel bring the beacon to the base. Between it and the Autolans, we're bound to have a breakthrough. All right. We'll be there when you're through dealing with the Autolans. Okay, thank you. All right. Come on. Oh, good. That level is going to be helpful. It's going to move my desk down a bit. Uh, okay. We're going to head over to the next part of town, and that will hopefully lead to us getting frozen and blown up by this guy. Sneaky, sneaky. Alright, as I was saying, we're just going to get back on track here. Along this frozen footpath in the Icefall Plains, as it takes us up to our next destination, I guess? Is there another outpost around here somewhere? Leth Outpost. Alright, looks like I already got that unlocked. So we'll just head up this path, conveniently enough laid out for us here, and hope that it leads us directly where we want to be, which is the Ortolan Expeditionary Camp. There we are. Yeah, looks about right. So, first branch on the left, 
is the one that we want to take in order to get ourselves into the camp. And you can see the mountains slowly resolving in the distance, which I quite enjoy. There's one nice thing about Hoth, and there is precisely one nice thing about Hoth. It's those mountains. High Mount Road. Alright, well it's nice that they have their own little quick travel point there. I might need it at some point in the future. If I can quick travel to it, can I? Not while moving. I'll have to wait until I'm not moving to find that out. And I'm not going to be not moving until we get to our destination. Hmm, there's another path there that I didn't even see. Lost Tauntauns. The poor dears. There are a lot of badass wampas hanging out here. Let's just avoid them. Sorry about that, had a sneeze that I had to manage. These guys are pretty tough. Good stuff. We're probably not going to sneak up on them here. Oh, there's a heavy scout here, eh? Don't you worry, you little heavy scout there. I'm here to take care of all those issues that were bothering you the power of making no more issues matter. Is there one hidden over there? Of course there is. Okay, we're tolling warriors and chiefs. Hello. You'll notice I didn't kill everyone I could have. The remains of a ship called the Star Runner, which you took from the distress beacon site. <laughs> Yeah. Nanu nanu do. Whoa. Doesn't look like you got a ghost. I see. Could you say that again? No offense, but Master, why can't you Sith just become one with the Force when you die? We could. Oh, well. If you'd rather speak through these idiots for eternity, be my guest. Obviously. Hmm. I do no one's bidding, but my own. Can I just bind him like I did all the other ghosts? Yeah, that's fine, but I just bound the other ghosts. Didn't have to go through any of this rigmarole. Why not have these creatures do it for you? So, just eat the ghost. I don't agree to this. I want to just eat the ghost. Like I've done with every other ghost I've run into. <sighs> K 
can't win. Well, let's go see what Drellic has to say. I don't think he'll like us trashing a temple and desecrating relics, especially of Nagasato, his BFF. Do you require medical attention? Be well. Which of history's greatest monsters is your favorite? He asks. Uh, okay, Drellic. All right. Though I guess they are Imperials. We can't really... Can't really I'm blame the ghost, them. And he needs me to get inside an ancient temple. <laughs> and it's true! Ashar is invisible. My peers in the service laughed when I said it was on Hoth, but now, yes! It's the only thing that makes sense. Also, I have to trash Ludo the temple. said he was a follower of Ludo Kresh, and that Naga Sadao's assassins killed him. Invisible Sif, Madawan. Do you realize what you've done? You're cute when you're excited. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, how kind of you to say. We're talking about the fabled Sadoween, Naga Sadao's personal order of assassins. Myth made real. Don't worry, I'll get you inside. I've been circumventing the security of ancient tombs since I was old enough to hold a data spike in a pair of pliers. I just love that Ashara is literally invisible right now. A data spike and pliers? I have far more advanced equipment at my disposal now. It'll open tomb doors and make tea while you wait. Awesome. Provided you know how to use it, of course. Now we have a temple to discover. And a file. Oh, you're literally coming with me. All right, we'll do that in the next episode. Till then, all the best.